We've got BTEC SUG this Christmas. Apologies. Oh, it's cold. Gone! It's gone! Hey! It's gone! I'm here for heavy support in case things kick off and get nasty. <laughs> Bombshell moment on day one of Logmas. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. No seagulls on my roof. But it is day one of Vlogmas. I can't quite believe I'm saying this, but uh, hello, I'm back. Uh, I've been gone for a few weeks, but I am back with an early Christmas present in the form of me attempting, emphasis on the word attempting, <laughs> Um, Vlogmas. I have not completed a Vlogmas since 2017 and I've tried multiple times since 2017 and not completed it for various different reasons. But this year I feel like I can give it a good go. Now it's going to be it's going to be interesting so basically Zoe, my sister, she is due to give birth to her, to her second child at some point in the lead up to Christmas um, so she's not doing Vlogmas this year so I've sort of taken it upon myself to be like, right, if Zoe's not doing it, then someone's got to do it. Do you know what I mean? And um, from, from, from looking out there in the world, I don't know how many people, other people do Vlogmas or attempt it anymore. So you've got BTEC SUG this Christmas. Apologies. I feel like, the, I feel like, the, <laughs> I feel like the, the, the substitute teacher that comes in, everyone's like, oh, for God's sake, we've got him. We've got him this year. Um, apologies. I am not Zoe because... Um, uh, Zoe could never grow a moustache like this. Believe me, she's tried in the past. It's never quite worked out. You're stuck with me um, in the lead up to Christmas, counting you down to the festive time of the year, the Christmas time. Um, yeah, it's me. It's quite early in the morning. It's a, there's a real harsh frost out there as well. Very Christmassy. It's, it's a good day to start Vlogmas because it does feel very festive, very slippery. Um, and I've got to go out in the car in a minute. So I'm hoping that it's the roads aren't slippery. Uh, the reason why I think I might be able to do Vlogmas this year is because one, uh, I've compiled a list of ideas and things. I've checked my diary. My diary has got loads of other random things in there, but I'm hoping that I can um, be a bit more regimented with it. Um, and I've got a lot of like fun things lined up between now and Christmas Eve, Christmas Day. Now, back in the past, I used to always vlog the day before the first to upload a video on the first um but that apparently that that's not the rules uh so today is the first it goes up on the second so i don't want you watching my channel today the first going well he's failed already um because i haven't i promise i'm filming today on the first to go up on the second so you're getting the authentic first of december now i do have an advent calendar but it's not the sort of advent calendar you can probably open and use first thing in the morning. My advent calendar this year, I mean, it looks like it's just done a podcast. You all right? <laughs> My advent calendar this year is Cask Explorers, uh, a Scotch whiskey single malt collection, 25 drams for 25 days and some festive toes. So this uh, advent calendar was gifted to me by the really good whiskey company. Uh, and it says, hi Joe, Christmas is coming. Uh, I can't believe it either. In the spirit, I wanted to share one of our brand new whiskey advent calendars for 2023. Uh, this one I picked for you is our single malt scotch whiskey edition. Uh, we've actually got 10 different versions this year, including bourbon and Japanese whiskey for the first time. Ooh, uh, it contains 15, no, 25. Mm, it contains 25 different drams, uh, all different cast types, age uh, statements, uh, maturation styles. In short, you've got a whole flavor journey awaiting you. In the spirit of giving, I've set up an exclusive discount code for your followers. There you go. Um, if if they enter the code Joe Sarg in capital letters at checkout, they we will we'll give them free UK delivery. I did mention this on my Instagram. Uh, also, I hope you love the calendar, and I can't wait to watch you open it for Vlogmas from Danny and the RGW team. Thank you, Danny. That's very very kind of you. Uh, do you know what? I'm actually, I'm going to actually open day number one. Um, I am driving today, so I'm not going to drink this right now, but I'm going to take it with me to where I'm going because for day one of Vlogmas, I am going back to my home birth 
place uh, of Wiltshire uh, to go and see my father and other family. <clears throat> what have we got? We've got a Glengoin! 10 year old single malt scotch whiskey. Little QR code on it. Beautiful. And I'm going to be away for a night or so, so I need to also open number two, perhaps. Should we just do it now? Let's do it now. Number two, we have Tomatin 12 year old scotch single malt scotch whiskey. Do a little taste test later on. Now, it's breakfast time. There's no need to be afraid. At breakfast time, we look in the fridge and there is absolutely nothing for me to eat. I need to do a food shop, evidently. Unless I want a bit of old festive broccoli for breakfast. Obviously there's certain things um, in this place that I sort of do share and things that I don't share. I've always, no matter where I've lived, I've always had a bit of like a, a funny thing around showing the inside of our fridge. I mean, you saw it, you see it all the time on like things like MTV Cribs and stuff. They always want to see what was inside the fridge and like any house tour that a YouTuber does. But for some reason, I've, I've, I get really like paranoid of being judged as to one, how tidy and clean the fridge is, but also what sort of things that I have in the fridge in terms of what foods I like to have. It's up there with like medical history. It's, it's something I don't really like to share. I feel a bit weird sharing that broccoli with you. But anyway, there you go. Is that normal? Oh my word, tell a lie. I have got breakfast in the form of this white paper bag. Sav, who, uh, who we look after at MVE, which is uh, me and Casper's uh, talent management company, uh, she teamed up with Garnier to do like a run club type thing. And I went along yesterday to the run club um, and we met up at this sort of restaurant place beforehand. And in the restaurant, uh, before I left, they said, oh, uh, would you like some of these? They must have thought I looked hungry, I don't know. Malnourished. But they gave me some pan -a raisins <laughs> Might be a bit stale, because they have been there all night, but... Oh no, they're good. They're good. We are starting off Vlogmas right. <laughs> Outfit-wise, I think for today, a vest is a must. Also, you know it's getting cold when your nipples start poking at you vest top and your t-shirt. I go on about them an awful lot, but honestly, Uniqlo, the best for basics, I think anyway. But first things first, as it is the 1st of December, this thing, much to my nan's delight, has got to go. My nan hates this. Uh, Diane's not as keen on it. I don't mind it. It's going slightly ginger, which, you know, nothing wrong with that. If anything, it's made me and Josh Peters bond better, you know? We feel like we're more connected now, which is great. Obviously for November, uh, and we raised a grand total of, I'm just gonna go and check it, because we did receive a last minute donation yesterday. Um, but our, our target was 1,000 pounds, and I'm delighted to say we went over that. As of recording, 1,161 pounds raised. Massive, massive thank you to everybody that did donate and people that are following this. I mean, it's my fifth or sixth year doing this now. Uh, in total, we've raised over £11,000 uh, for November. Admittedly, it's not a lot of effort for me. I've, got, I've just got to let this, I've just got to let myself go for a month, basically, and let this thing grow out. Also, I've got no good shaver. I've never really needed one because I don't grow enough facial hair. So to actually get rid of this, I need lots, I, I, I'm doing it all wrong. I need something to go that way with, but I don't really have anything. I've got this, which I've had since I was honestly about 16 years old. The Gillette Styler. They probably don't make these anymore, but it's been my old faithful. It's been, it's been very good to me this over the years with what little facial hair I do have, but... Oh, it does still work. Hello? Whoa, man. See you next year. Also, I've got to mention I've had a haircut as well. I got a haircut yesterday especially, so I've never looked this groomed in a long time. Last time I went down to Christmas, I took this bag and I'm just looking inside. So this is the sort of stuff I was taking last year. Near a fair, obviously. COVID mask, look at that. Little rare sighting of an unused COVID mask. And also I was like, what's this in this pocket here? I unzip it and lo and behold, inside, a bloody fragrance. I've been looking for this all year, <laughs> literally all year. And it's been in that bag the entire time. Uh, it's Tom, Tom Ford Grey 
vetiver, gray vetiver, Tom Ford. Found it. Ooh. Oh, that takes me back. That takes me back to Tom and Lydia's New Year's Eve party last year. As Zoe's not doing Vlogmas and she'd normally talk about this kind of stuff, I feel like, I might do a fragrance tour. Is that a thing? Come with me through my different fragrances and I can recommend you which is the best one to have at Christmas. I already know which one it is. I can see it right now. For me, this is the one. This is a bit battered. I need to get a new one because I love this. This reminds me so much of winter. Spice Bomb Victor Rolf, but the only issue is, you can't see that, but it doesn't spritz, it just shoots out like a laser. So you end up getting drenched by it, but... Oh. I could do this all day. Oh, it's cold. First things first. Let's get these headrests down and get these chairs down because I'm gonna pick up some chairs. Exactly, and finally, I can play Christmas music on Heart Christmas. So I'm trying to zip this up <laughs> without, without feeling like I'm being judged because now it's December the 1st and now I'm allowed to play Christmas music as loud as I want in one degree heat. Let's turn you up and turn you to 28. Oh, hi, yeah, hi will do. Uh, let's also hit this button here, which is my favorite thing about this car. I think I mentioned it before. It has a heated steering wheel, which if you're like me and you get really cold hands very easily and also this thing called Reynards, um, which is an absolute pain in the ass, or pain in the hands more so, um, this thing, this heated steering wheel is an absolute godsend. But my first task of the day is to go to a homeware furniture type shop. Um, we ordered, me and Diane ordered some chairs, some dining room chairs for our new dining room table, which I've not actually shown you yet, I don't think, in a vlog. I'm trying to drive to this place. I've been there before, but I'm trying to drive there for the first time without using the sat-nav, just to see how good my memory is of remembering how to get places. So wish me luck that I actually get there and don't get lost and panicked on in a lay-by somewhere, freaking out, not knowing where I am or how to get where I need to get to. See you there, hopefully. I made it. And we are loaded up and headed home, just like that. It's very quick and very easy. Now, I'm not gonna show you the chair just yet because I'm still, I'm still slightly on the fence. These chairs are a little bit out there, but life is about taking risks. And also Diane loves them. We've been looking for dining room chairs for a long, long time to go with the bench that we have. Um, and we saw these ones and every one we've seen since then just has not been the same or hasn't been right or we still keep thinking about these ones. This spider, sorry if you're scared of spiders, but this spider has been um, living on this desk for the last couple of days and every time I sit down to do any work, he's just there walking around in the same spot to the point where I'm starting to think maybe he's a special Christmas spider. I think he's the sort of spider that jumps as well. What sort of spider is this? Because if I do touch it, he'll jump. Ready? See? Oh, I didn't get it on camera. Ready? See? I made it home. I've brought back the chairs. When I saw them in the shop, um, as I mentioned, I was a bit hesitant about them. The reason why we got them was because um, they called me up because they'd gone to clearance. So they, they, was, they were reduced quite significantly. And I was like, right, it's now or never. Let's just do it. I've got to say though, I do quite like them. I feel like they go anyway. I, I do quite like them. This is our new, these are our new dining room chairs. One there and then one over here. We have got a few more arriving, but I just went to pick these up just to check that they do sort of fit and look nice before I fully commit and get the rest of them all sent in. So the reason why we've gone for them is because with this bench here, we've got like these sort of sheep, sheepskins, I guess you call it. Although it's a modern house, um, it's got this panelling, which is obviously good, but we want to make it feel a bit more sort of natural. Modern natural, but these chairs are slightly like um, God of War Ragnarok, uh, <laughs> like Viking Banquet Hall, but I like them. They're comfy and it makes the place feel cosy. I'm giving that a th three quarters of a tick out of 10. And from one trip out and back again, 
to going back out again, but this time it's gonna be a lot longer of a drive because I'm heading back to Wiltshire, as I mentioned, after a uh, like three hour drive, I've made it. First stop actually is to go and see my Nan um, to show her this mainly because, well, obviously to, to see her before Christmas, but also to show her this. Ho, ho, ho! I've got a moustache to show you. Well, a lack of. Ta-da! Oh, yeah, <laughs> Hello! Oh, she's so gone. Gone. It's gone! Hey! It's gone! It's gone! It's <laughs> gone! Nan's Strictly Shrine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm already in the bedroom, Joe. Oh, have you? <laughs> Nan absolutely <laughs> loves Graziano. Oh, yeah. Ali Ash is in the bedroom. <laughs> Ali Ash is in the bedroom. <laughs> 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 Nan's, got, Nan's got Ali Ash and Graziano in the bedroom. Um, and Diane was granddad's favourite. Yeah. Yeah. Richard Osmond, House oh, of yeah. Games, Decanter. Yeah, nice Very empty though, isn't it? Why is there nothing in there? You drunk it all? <laughs> no, because I keep the bottle in the kitchen, otherwise I'll be too tempted. Right, that is my nan, ticked off the list of people that I've seen since being back. And now it's on to see Father Cri not Father Christmas, Father Sug. Right, I've arrived at Daddy Sugs. <laughs> I was waiting for that. Dad doesn't like me calling him Daddy Sug anymore. I never did. Did you not? No. Why are you telling me this now? It All these my, years? It wasn't my idea. Your, isn't your like Twitter handle Daddy Sug? What was your idea? <laughs> Twitter? Dad's always, Dad has always been known, as you all know, as Daddy Sug. So he did that on a boat to the Isle of Wight. Really? Yeah. So the reason Daddy Sug was called Daddy Sug is because Zoe created his accounts on social media on a boat to the Isle of Wight, apparently. And he's just always been... I mean, a lot of you watching will remember... Daddy Sug as Daddy Sug. But bombshell moment on day one of Logmas, he doesn't want to be called that anymore. What have you ever called his daddy <laughs> after the age of three or four? That's very true. I used to call dad daddy to the age of like, what? Three or four? Five, six. Well, we need a new name. What can we call you in the vlogs? See, I'm Can't call you dad. Everyone calls their dad dad in vlogs. What do you want your name, what do you want your name to be? Grambo. Grambo. <laughs> Gram okay, from now on. <laughs> Dad's called Grambo. So me and Grambo, this sounds weird. Me and Grambo, I've just sat down, we're off again because we're going to... Dad, huh? Dad. No, I think Gra Grambo. I'm sticking with Grambo. We're heading to Screwfix to get a radiator and potentially Grambo's getting very excited because there's a potential deal on where you can get, if you buy a radiator, you get two... <laughs> two Tape measures for free. Oh, <laughs> Only if you can work out the deal and if stocks last. And the time is currently nearly 6 p.m. Okay. So there might not be any tape measures left. What are you going to do, Dad, if there's no tape measures left? It's not like you've got one here. Maybe if they, they can chuck in a couple of extra pencils, because this one's nearly the end of his life. I've never seen a pencil this short in a long, long time. Day one of Vlogmas, I'm already being ripped apart. That's just, what was it you said? Vlogmas content going really well. Because I, I mentioned about that pencil, Dad just goes, wow, your Vlogmas must be going well. You, your content's good. You're just talking about pencils. I'm being roasted already. How many days have you got left? And the vlog's not... Yeah, exactly. How many days have I got left? 20, 20, 23? Wow. Right, we've arrived at Screwfix Melksham. Open seven days a week. And, and you know what? It's not going well. Look, Dad. They've got the radiators on, adver on advertisings. Yeah, but I haven't sent my message. Oh, Dad's waiting for a mess. You walk in, you don't see anybody. And you do. Oh, I can see the tape measures, though. You're supposed to I can see him at the front. You're supposed to get a message to say it's ready. Dad's not got the message, but I do feel like we've parked up for like a drug deal or something. Do you know what I mean? We've, we're the only ones in the car park. Another car's pulled up. And we've got to get in quick, so we should take Nick the last two uh, tape measures. Yeah. There is a person behind the till in there. Of course there is. Oh, I'm here for heavy support in case things kick off and get nasty. Right, look hard. Dad, that's the one you want. Hot deal. Get it? Hot deal. This is radiator. Hot deal. One radiator. After driving what it feels like for about an hour, trying to find a fish and chip shop in Melksham, we finally found one that hasn't got about 50,000 people sat inside trying to order food. So fingers crossed, it's good. And we can actually have dinner before midnight. Looks very festive here, Dad. Or Grambo, whatever your name was.
two of us. That should last us all week, I reckon. No one should feed for it. it used to be a big round ball. Yeah. What is that? What is that? We used to go to this one back in the day. That was great. And they do like a, a mushy pea fritter. It's a big, it's like a big shot putt. It's full of peas. That, whatever that is. Discus. It's a mushy pea discus. Yeah, they've gone from shot putt to discus. Soggy. Oil. Oh, it looks limp. No. It's a Christmas disaster. It's only one consolation. What's that? I didn't pay for it. Yeah, I didn't, yeah. Oh, Grimbo's had a, a big plan. He's got the air fryer out. Right, I'll be honest. It wasn't the best I've had. Actually, in saying that, the curry sauce was a solid nine out of 10, I thought. A very good curry sauce. And then I do feel at some point, maybe not tonight, but at some point tomorrow, I'm gonna have to help put a radiator up at some point. It's got a feeling. Do you need help putting that radiator up? I can take your silence as a no. From photos at Manan's house of uh, basically the, the male pros from Strictly to a little shrine of me and my sister. Here, you might recognize this photograph from uh, the Sug Life calendar that we did. We recreated this pose. Um, here, we've got us a little bit older. I'm probably like, what, seven there? Seven or eight? Here, a bit younger, playgroup age. And then here, a bit older. I just want to point out as well, see, I've always had this hairline. So guys, I've... <laughs> <laughs> Dad just goes to me. Have you noticed you're getting louder when you vlog? I don't think. Do I sound louder? No. I don't think so. Maybe. Maybe I do. I probably do. I've definitely got a vlogging voice, like a YouTube voice that I put on. I am actually Scouse. I'm not even from Wiltshire. I'm actually from Glengoyne. Um, it's time. It's now. What's time? It's nearly ten o'clock, which means it's time to drink day one of my advent calendar. Do you want some? Grimbo shaking his head. <laughs> he regrets. He regrets calling himself Grimbo now. <laughs> I thought it was Grimbo. Yeah, nice. It's a good start. It's a good start to. I've got to, have to recompare it to. Right, and I'm now. In bed. Whenever I come back to Dad's, I'm always reunited with this, which is my old, what do you call it? Side, uh, bedside table? Old side table that my granddad made for me. So my granddad used to, uh, I think it was like a hobby that he did, but he ended up working for a pine shop making pine furniture. And this is one of the things that he made for me, I think for a birthday or something. It bring, weirdly brings back so many memories, having this side table. Um, even more so, when I open the drawers, well, there's nothing in there, just Allen keys and bits and bobs. The smell just takes me back to like a certain time in my life. It's so weird. I find that I am the most, for me, the things I get most uh, nostalgic about and the things that jog like core memories is smell above every other sense. There's something about smells that can take you right back to a certain time and a certain place that I forgot about almost. And then it just comes straight back after smelling something and smelling it inside that drawer for some reason takes me right back to being a 15, 16 year old, which is nice. It's nice that it's like, it still contains smell. It's like a little time capsule. You open it, smell it, go back to that time, close it again and carry on. I am gonna end day one of Vlogmas there. Now, I hope there's a vlog in this. <laughs> it's been a bit of a, it's, it's um, ideally day one of Vlogmas was, and should probably be me and Diane going to get the tree, doing very, very Christmassy things. But Diane is obviously still in Strictly. She's got um, a big day ahead of her tomorrow. Tomorrow is the quarterfinals. We will eventually do the tree. I've, I've, I've fe I have a feeling in this vlog, there's not there's not been too many Christmassy things for day one of Vlogmas, which um, apologies for, but also that will eventually come. The important thing is I have, I have completed and passed day one of Vlogmas, which is, 
Better than last year, probably. I feel like it's probably better than it ended last year. So uh, so that's good. But I am going to end the vlog there. Thank you. I am going to end the vlog there. Thank you very, very much for watching. Um, I really appreciate it. Uh, for anyone that's new and like, oh, Vlogmas, let's check this out. Please stay. Uh, uh, they, they, it will be, it'll be fun. I'm sure it's going to be, it's going to be great. It's going to be great. You're going to love it. So subscribe, like, share, comment, and I will see you all tomorrow with day two of Vlogmas. So yeah, good night.